What's up, YouTube? We got another good episode for you today, and we're gonna, you know, go through some of the things that we got for Christmas, and just talk to you about that, and uh, you know, have a little adventures with Steve. Be right back. So, I just wanted to show off of something here. Ah, <laughs> of course. Look at this. Looking good, Stub. So, I had to go get it trimmed. I know a lot of you were worried. Uh, Ryan really jacked me up. And uh, I went into my barber and I was like, hey, you know, I need a, a, a trim here. And he goes, all right, what do we do? What did you do to your beard? <laughs> I was like, I just started laughing because it was on like this weird, like crazy, it came down a little bit, then it cut in, then it pointed. So it was like this real weird, like, felt like Ryan was trying to be uh, a Tesla truck builder with my beard. I don't know if anybody- It was a cyber <laughs> beard. It was a cyber beard. So, but uh, I lost a bet. What can I say? So now I'm back to, you know, I tightened it up a little bit. It looks all right, but now I have to shave uh, different parts of my neck and my cheeks, which I didn't really do today. But, so thank you guys for all of your support. I know a lot of people commented how they're disappointed and sad with my beard getting trimmed and cut off, but uh, it'll grow another day. It'll grow. So it's the end of the year. We just had Christmas and we're just going through all of our collection and doing our annual deep clean. Uh, we do this a few times a year where we go through everything and make sure everything's good. Maybe put stuff on paper for a little bit, you know, check to make sure everybody's doing well. And uh, hopefully you guys are, you know, ending your year on a good note and you have a lot of good, healthy animals. Um, so I just wanna ask you guys a couple questions. A, what was your favorite gift that you guys got? And what was your favorite gift that you guys gave? Also, what is your most exciting project that you're working on this year? So I'm gonna answer all three of those questions. And uh, yeah, first off, my most exciting gift that I got, and Ryan's on the camera there, is <laughs> my girlfriend got me this. <clears throat> it's a fishing magnet. <laughs> so a lot of people know a little bit about me. I like toys and like anything cool. I'm a really big into like rope and strong ropes and stuff like that. And then I got this really cool magnet and I like really strong magnets. So I thought, you know, what better way to have something exciting? Uh, it's a, a good toy. Yeah, so I got this magnet and it's really big. It's like rated to pick up things that are 900 pounds. I don't know if that really equates right or not, but we have to be real careful with it because it's really strong. Make sure it's not near your pants or anything like that. I keep on uh, getting it stuck to stuff, which is fun, but um, yeah. So anyway, this is like the most uh, fun gift that I got. I got a bunch of little things and uh, good things and so I don't want anybody to think that uh, I didn't get good stuff, but this is the thing that I really am enjoying. So tell us what did you guys get? And uh, yeah, so the best thing that I gave, I mean, I got, people stuff my the funniest gift was from my brother or to my brother so my brother likes to uh, blow his nose a lot like a lot, lot. <laughs> I took 12 boxes of tissues I opened them all and made one giant box of tissues and then stuffed it all so it looked like a big box of tissues and you can pull them out the top um, it was huge it was like this big oh. <laughs> so I got like 12 boxes of tissues and put them into one big box of tissues and it was really funny and really a fun gift to give so uh <laughs> tell us what you guys like and one of the exciting projects that we're working with and I know you guys saw a bunch of our other stuff our updates and our holdbacks so I want to show you guys a couple long-term projects for us. We have this boy here. 
and we got them from Justin Kabelka. And this is a Fire Spot Nose Het Clown, Lavender Albino, and possible Het Pied. So that's three Hetary jeans that are recessive. And then Fire Spot Nose as well. This is a male. And he is going to be breeding for us this year. So we have, um, obviously we have to put him to some pied stuff to prove out the pied, the het pied part, but it's a het clown, het lavender albino, and then possible het pied. So this is a fun one for us because, you know, the babies could be all different sorts of stuff. There's a lot of variability there. Also the fire and spot nose in it um, just makes, everything more fun. The spot nose is, you know, a gene that's been coming around a lot more lately and becoming more and more popular. So uh, we have him and we're gonna put him to a couple other girls. Let me show you. So we're reading him to a girl like this. This is a pied het lavender albino. So we will get, you know, the lavender albinos come through and prove out to see if that pied comes through. So if any babies are pied, visual pieds, then we know that the possible is not possible anymore. That's truly 100% het for pied, that male. So we all the babies from this girl would be 100% pied. And then from that male, hopefully we'll get some visuals. But also this is 100% het lavender albino and he's 100% het lavender albino. So hopefully we'll get some lavender albino pieds. That'd be awesome. And then we also have that spot nose and fire in there. So this is one piece of the puzzle that we'll be working with that uh, triple het and lots of recessive stuff. So let me grab another one. All right, now this beautiful girl is gonna make things even more fun. This looks like a pied, but she is 100% het albino. So now lavender and albino and regular albino, they don't mix, so they're two separate genes. So this can make quad heads. So we'll hopefully make some visual pieds from it, hoping that that male proves out to be 100% het pied. Um, but then there's gonna be all the pos het of all four genes. So that'll be clown, lavender albino, albino, and pied. And so everything will be 100% pied from this female, um, but <laughs> then the rest will be possible. Um, so it'll be fun. It's a fun little project. It'd be fun to, to see and fun to produce a quad visual recessive mutation. So you guys, let me know what you think about that one. We're also putting jeans together like that heck clown and even though it's a triple, well, possibly triple het. This girl here is a pastel leopard het clown. And it would be fun to make some pastel leopard fire spot nose animals, but then also visual clowns. And then they'd be possible het lavender albino and possible het pied um, if that pied proves out. So it's a lot of record keeping to keep the baby straight, but uh, that's a fun project. And pastel leopard, spot nose, fire clowns are awesome. With this pastel leopard het clown female, the spot nose leopard clowns are Batman. Ryan, correct me if I'm wrong. Spot and nose leopard clown, yep. That's the Batman, so then the Batman plus pastel and fire. So it could be Firefly Batman is the possibility here, but also it would be Het for Holy Grails, which is the Lavender Albino Pieds. Clowns. Clowns. Both, all Sorry. three. The Holy Grail is all three of those. The Holy Grail is all three. It's hard for me to keep them straight. That's why I have Ryan here. He's the uh, expert at uh, jeans. So, Avenue Albino Clowns or Grails, add Pied, you got the Holy Grail. Man. So, 
We'd be uh, producing bat, uh, <laughs> Firefly Batmans, possibly, as well as some Het Holy Grails with this. Hopefully we'll get some uh, really awesome animals from them. All right. So here we go with another double het male. This is a double het VPI Exanthic Clown. So an Exanthic Clown, which is fun. We also got a female that's a double het Exanthic Clown, but we will be putting him to a few animals. He's uh, not producing sperm plugs yet, am I right, Ryan? He's like right on the cusp. He's ready to go, actually. He's ready to go, apparently. I just found that out. Um, <laughs> so He's been pairing with a female. Oh, really? So he's been pairing with the female. Are we going to put him to anybody else, Ryan? Not just yet. Hmm. He's still a little young, so we want to keep him uh, not... We don't have a lot much, of head of his antic stuff. We don't. So really the kind of the goal was to take him to her and hopefully hit the double, hopefully hitting the double uh, Azanthic Clown that we can then plug back into the quad head project we're working on <laughs> to make six, fifth, fifth tuckle, fifth tuckle heads. Uh, five. <laughs> Quintu sin quintuple. Quality couples. Quintuple heads. Um, yeah, so that's a fun long-term project. We don't do anything short term here, apparently. <laughs> but we do have a bunch of other genes that, uh, you know, we're working with. And uh, these are just some of the recessive projects that we have going on. We'll be working with uh, a bunch of clown stuff and I'm gonna show you some more. So here's another clown project that we're working on. Uh, plugging this girl into clown. So she is an orange dream leopard vanilla heck clown. Um, possible head clown as we've said but we're really hopeful and we think that she will prove out so uh, root for us on that one but orange dream leopard vanilla it's a fun combo and uh, we got this from RL exotics and uh, yeah we're excited excited for her and hopefully we'll be making some clown stuff with her OD vanilla Batmans OD vanilla Batmans that'd be fun uh, oh yeah, we have the opportunity that we could do that. So she's not ready just yet, but she's getting there. She's almost there. She's eating really well. Um, she pushed through the thousand gram wall and uh, late season, we should have her going, and, you know, another few hundred grams and she'll be there. But they go when they go. So, so fire's in there too. So it could be orange cream, vanilla scream. No, vanilla cream, orange cream, vanilla cream. Batman, possible hit, Holy Grails. <laughs> okay, so that one 10 times fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's lots of fun projects. Fun. Talk about uh, stacking stuff, you know, that it brings me to a story that we've uh, told to a couple people, but whenever you, if you can ever get the chance, go see Kevin McCurley up at uh, Nerd in New Hampshire. He, uh, he has stuff, man. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. He starts pulling things out of bins and it has so much stuff in it that he's unsure sometimes. And if Kevin's unsure about anything, you're like, I don't know what to do. So uh, it's a really fun time and we'll be producing some things that we're gonna be looking at and not knowing what it is. Uh, we've already done that actually, but uh, it's part of the fun of breeding. So hopefully you guys like some of our clown stuff. Uh, let's see what else clown stuff do we got going on here. Let me show you. This is another project we got going. So this is an Enchi Banana Het Clown. She's being pretty feisty right now. Uh, you can see the position she's in. She's looking to, to maybe strike Ryan's face. Um, just kidding. They're all lovable creatures. They don't bite anything. Uh, that's not true either. Anything with a mouth can bite. So you should handle all of these animals with respect. But she is beautiful. She's got a lot of speckling starting to come through. But you can see it's not a ton of speckling. That Enchi banana and then she's het clown. She doesn't have a ton of speckling for her size. Um, and we think that that's uh, Enchi of course in there. But she's beautiful. And we are breeding her currently to our killer leopard clown. Um, like I said in a video a couple videos ago that we don't have a ton of males that are ready. So um, 
where we picked up some males this year and they aren't ready just yet but that's why you hang on to a couple males that you know are powerhouse breeders for you and our killer leopard clown will be awesome for her so that will be 100% heads or visuals because she's 100% head so we should get some visuals out of her um, and this is a female banana so uh, we should get some females also which we're excited about because we've still yet to produce any female bananas um, and of course Enchi and then everything will be pastel and we'll get some leopards in there it's gonna be awesome so you can see how clean she is and you can see if you get a close-up of this belly has all these little yellow spots on it it's just beautiful I love bananas and this one's really holding its color well um, so we're really excited for this project and again it's another clown project that we're working on I'm here with my little anthill um, one of our little anthill pythons they're really awesome I really like these guys they're doing well so this is one of our females, the younger of the four that we have. And, uh. Pygmy Python, Blue Tongue Skink, Steve Arena. <laughs> yeah, so that brings me to my next point. Thank you, right? Uh, Adventures with uh, Steve here. Shout out to Bob Vu. And, um, yeah, so don't forget today we have tonight at, at 6 p.m. in Deptford, New Jersey. So it's December. 27th uh, 2019 we're doing our reptile dinner so hopefully a bunch of people come out to that there's gonna be some uh, breeders there for sure because uh, we'll be there so that's at least one breeder will be there uh, we have a bunch of friends that are, are going and uh, feel free to come out we really enjoy just hanging out and just talking so it's a pretty open atmosphere don't feel like you have to be there at 6 we're gonna be there probably all night until they close so uh, just come out hang out Meet some people, talk some snakes, talk some other reptiles, whatever you'd like. But it's a good time at Mission Barbecue in Deptford, New Jersey at 6 p.m. is when we're going to start. So um, thank you guys so much for watching our videos. We are truly humbled when we ask for comments and there's just blowing up comments on the last video, uh, the Christmas special, even though it's, you know, to get a hook and stuff. So we're giving stuff away. But still, we know that you guys love us so much and we love you too. And we really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch our videos. So if you could do me a favor, hit the like button on this video if you like it. Also, hit the subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, all that stuff really helps us out. And uh, I love hearing from you guys. I got a lot of text messages, a lot of jokes, and they're really funny. <laughs> and uh, a lot of people just brighten up my Christmas, so feel free to keep commenting and texting me. And maybe one of these days we will uh, give out Ryan's number, how about that? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so feel free to give me a call and hopefully we'll be uh, seeing you guys on the next one. Thanks. It looked like a big box of tissues and you can pull them out the top. Um, it was huge, it was like this big. Oh. All right. Got, and got me on that one. <laughs> All right, you ready? So get close to like. All right. So I got like twelve boxes of tissues.